everybody, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on Blossom and right now we are going to work on the inside liners and the cover. And then later we'll add our pages. So these are from the Patterns and Solids and I actually had two full sheets so I'm just, normally I do some piecing here but I'm just going to use two full sheets. Uh, piecing, color blocking, I say it both ways. Okay. There we go. I think this paper is so pretty. Very, very pretty. Every once in a while, though, I get the feeling that it's in upside down. Something about the way the words are written. But it's not. Okay, so I've lined up um, this pattern for the back. I'm not sure if I've trimmed it down or not. Okay. It looks good. This is the back cover. And then I'm also going to use the same pattern to cover the spine. I'm gonna see if I've inked my edges. I have. Okay. It doesn't want to stand up. The corners are a little stiff. Okay. Let's see if we can't get it. Nope, not gonna work. Not gonna stand for me. Okay, I'm going to get some glue on here. Looks like I need to shift it over just a little. There we go. There we go. 
I, I should have inked my edges a little heavier and that wouldn't be so obvious, so I might go back over that with um, a Sharpie because I, I just see too much white paper there. Okay, so that's the back, the spine, and now we're gonna work on the front. So I've gone back and forth about what to do with the front. I selected this paper and trimmed it out, and it's very busy, I realize that, but then I thought, um, if we fussy cut and popped some elements, it might make it a little more interesting, but I'm worried it's just too busy. So this was my second line of thought, was to do something simple like this, and then to add some fussy cut um, florals to the, to the cover. And I haven't quite made up my mind yet, so I'm going to pause and shift a couple of things around and make a decision. I completely switched gears and I'm gonna go with this pattern paper and it is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And I am going to use it for the cover and then I'm gonna embellish it. I tried um, using some of the more solid patterns. I didn't care for it. And the original floral that I um, had originally cut and set aside this one, I just think it's just too much. Um, I think I prefer the tighter pattern. Um, that big, because of the large size of the scale of the flowers, it's really hard to layer on that first design that I was originally thinking about going with. Because this is a tighter pattern, I can layer it. Okay, so I'm still planning on trying to figure out how to use my fussy cut flowers. But now I think I want to go ahead and a cardstock back um, some additional elements. So I'm going to go ahead and put some cardstock on the back of this and get a feel for what it looks like. And then I've got a couple of fussy cut flowers that I can kind of layer in. So I'm not sure this is the one I'm going to go with, but I do. I'm liking the lighter side instead of the heavier side of the um the journaling cards. So I'm gonna shuffle these around a little bit more and dial it in and when I get back, we'll glue everything down. Okay, so I'm going to use two ephemera cards and I had some scrap blue paper. These are four by six, I've matted with um, black cardstock and then I've got my two ephemera cards that I'm gonna use. I'm going to use that as an accent piece and then layer my ephemera cards on, on top. So let's go ahead and place these accent pieces and I'm just eyeballing it I just want it in straight and then I'm gonna put this one down a little bit lower Okay, now this ephemera card is just cardstock backed. It's gonna go here. And then this one I put some chipboard on, so it's gonna be slightly elevated from, um, from this one. And so this is the planned layout. So I'm gonna put the flat one down first. Because we want it to be slightly underneath the second uh, ephemera card. This one is going to go right here and it's going to be inset just a slight bit just like so I just think these blue ephemera cards are so pretty
Okay, so that is the main design elements for our cover. I think it turned out nice. And so that pattern we're pulling in from the front, from the spine and from the back. So I think it makes for um, uh, a nice flow. Okay, um, I've got a couple pieces of chipboard and I know I want to um, use a feature right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this little button down. And I had used a little bit of tape on the back to hold my dot in place. That's the laundry <laughs> calling me. Okay. And now the last thing is we're ready to go ahead and put our pages in. So let's do that. We are so close, guys. Okay, I've got my pages lined up here. I need to do some housekeeping. I got too much stuff in my field of vision. Okay, now we're ready. I think that turned out really pretty. Um, to go ahead and put our pages in. So here's page one. I'm just verifying. Page one. I'm gonna go ahead and sit down so I can get a better, better view of what I'm doing. Okay, page one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Okay, I'm just verifying that I've got my pages in the right order. Okay, now I gotta stand back up so I can see the edges. Well, I guess I should put some tape down <laughs> if I want it to stick. Ding dong. I'm so serious. I'm like, why did that slip over so easy? Now I know, because there was no tape on it. Ding dong. All right, sorry about that, guys. You gotta watch me put tape on. It's boring, I know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and install the first page so you can see what I'm doing. You don't need to watch me install all four pages. Um, and then the next time we get together, I'll be doing a walkthrough and any further embellishment that I do to the album, I will make sure to point out in the walkthrough. I want to thank everybody for spending time with us here at Scrap and Create. We really appreciate it. And if you're so inclined, scoot on over to our Facebook group page where like-minded viewers and customers uh, share their projects with us. And it's a growing community and we're having a lot of fun over there. So we would appreciate it if you came on over, checked things out, and shared some of your projects um, with the rest of the community. Some people share variants of these projects that I do on YouTube. Others have some original work. Um, so it's, a, it's kind of a mix. We do ask that you, um, any of the projects that you share, uh, feature paper brands that we carry in our shop. Um, we would appreciate that. And that would be anything Stamperia, Graphic 45, or Chow Bella. And most recently, we've added Blue Fern. And we have yet to even get any content out on Blue Fern, but I think that's coming very soon. So you guys will be excited about that. So yeah, we're excited. Um, come on over and take a look around. Share your thoughts with the group over there and your talents. And we're also you know, wide open for anything that would be considered like a technique or a tip, uh, you know, that fits fits within the paper crafting and specifically album making is really pretty much what that community is. Although we have some um, people that do some other very clever craft, paper craft things, boxes and stuff like that. So it doesn't have to be an album. I got glue everywhere. Okay, now I'm gonna install a page. <laughs> And I'm sure it's not going to slip on like it did the first time. I was like, wow, that, that's really simple. <laughs> Just adding that little bit of tape is enough to make it a little bit of a challenge to get it over, over um, the tape itself. A 
little bit tore on the bottom. There we go. I got it. There we go. Okay, and we're going to repeat this process three more times. You guys have seen the drill many, many times. And I actually go over this in the base album build too, in case you want to put your pages in first. I find it easy to decorate them flat, but there's a benefit to putting them in first, and that's that you don't get your pages out of order, which I have been, I have done. I have gone in and either put my pages in upside down or out of order, and that can be very frustrating. Thank heavens for undo. There we go. Okay, I guess I'm going to do the whole thing while you guys are with me. You can turn it off if you don't want to watch watch me struggle with getting the pages in. But you've seen it many, many times before. It's always the first one's the hardest, I think. And then you get some kind of flow going. So if you're new to the channel, um, tell you, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I lay my page down like this and dig out the tape. And I do it for a couple of reasons. One, I want to make sure my border is straight. And my pages are going in straight. Um, and the other reason is when you lay it down, it actually pulls away from the spine a smidge. And you want that because it's going to need that room to travel. If you... If you hold it in vertically when you install it and then you take the tape out, it's going to want to stand up away from uh, the spine because the paper is so close to the hinge. So I lay it down, I push it down so that it's going to come out, rise up just a little bit on that hidden hinge, um, and that'll make your pages lay a little flatter when you're actually opening and closing the album. Oh, i got to press that in place. There we go. This one feels really tight. I guess it's got a lot of magnets in it. Oh. Okay. And then the last thing I do before I press it into place, once I get the tape backing out, is um, I take my little pick tool and I just push the spine down a little bit. There we go. Because this, the uh, the spine, the hinge, wants to come back up while it's laying down. So I push it down with my, my hook and then I press it into place. So that's what's going on. And you really only need to do it on the first side because it's already, you know, found its attach point. This side you're just securing it. Okay, there we go. Page one, two, three, four, five. There's those beautiful ephemera cards that I had to use twice. <laughs> three, four, no. I'm sorry, that's four, five, six, seven in page eight. I had that a little bit out of order. Okay, there we go. Look at that, so cheerful. Okay, thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. If you're new to the channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and by all means share with like-minded crafters. We love to have you guys over on the channel. Um, we try to get new content out every couple of weeks. Um, and thanks again for coming along for the ride. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. We'll see you soon.